Okay, so I'm going to go through all of the stitches and things that you need to learn to crochet. There are like five or so stitches that you need to use and then certain knots that are helpful. So we'll get right into that. Okay, so here I have some yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook. And the first thing that I'll show is a slip knot. It's the thing that you'll use the most. So basically, hold the yarn like this with the end over here. Leave as long as a tail as you want. Put these two fingers in, point it in your thumb, and twist it like this. Then grab this yarn here and pull it through. And there's the slip knot. And you can just put the hook in. Simple as that. And I'll do it again. Turn it, pull it through. Very simple. Then there's chaining. Basically, yarn over and then just pull through. And that's a chain right there. Yarn over and pull through. And um, if you're left handed, everything will go back to fall, so it's very hard. I am left handed, but I crochet with my right. When you crochet a chain and you go, you get to your next row, you leave a certain number of chains at the end and skip them depending on type of stitch that you'll use but we'll do a, we'll do single crochets first i'm not sure if this is uk or american terminology so for a single crochet you're just going to skip one stitch and, cro and single crochet into the next one so for a single crochet you go into the stitch you yarn over pull through in that little stitch then you yarn over and then pull through two and there's the first single crochet so into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to do half double crochets for the next row. I tend to only chain one and then you turn and then you're going to go into these stitches next and you don't skip one this time. So for a half double crochet, it starts the same as a double crochet would. So you yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and then you pull through three stitches yarn over into the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three next a double crochet for a double i always do two chains and then we turn for the double crochet it starts off the same so you do yarn over into, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and this is where it's different to the half double crochet. You pull through two, and then you pull through the next two, and that's the double crochet right there. So we've got a single, we've got half, we've got double. So yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and there is the three main stitches that you will use. So next is the magic circle. It definitely confuses a lot of people. So this is the way that I do it. Some people do it differently. I take two fingers, and put the end of the yarn like this and hold it with my thumb then we're going to wrap it around the back like that then over again and then cross it in the back and just hold it with our back fingers then you're going to take your hook and put your hook underneath then grab that one pull it through it's gone a little blurry twist it like that and then you're going to grab this yarn and pull it through like that and then when you go to crochet you crochet into here over these two strands of yarn 
but we'll do that again. So holding the end like this, wrapping around once. Then over and cross. Grabbing it. Turning it. And tightening it. There we go. And I'm just going to crochet six single crochets into here because that is the most common one. It's the most common type of starting off. And I'm just a terrible counter. So I tend to use stitch markers a lot. <laughs> okay, so most of the time when you do these magic circles and you, after you finish pulling this thread, they're going to tell you to slip stitch into this first one here. And if you have a hard time finding the first one, like I did, count backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's this, the first one that you did. A slip stitch is very simple. You just go into the first one. Yarn over, pull through. So it starts with the same as a single crochet, but instead of yarning over again and pulling through two, you just pull through the first one. Next is an increase. Very important again for doll making. Um, it's usually just two crochets into the same stitch. So one and two, two single crochets. One two, one, two. Next is decreasing, which is the opposite of that. So instead of making it bigger, so it's like a circle, we're going to make it smaller. So for an invisible decrease, which there are different types of decrease, but invisible decrease sits the flattest. So it's the one that I like the best. You are using the front loops. So if you can see there how there's two loops, the front ones. There's one front one. We're going to go in for the next one. And we're going to yarn over and pull through yarn through both of those. And then finish off this, so it's like a single crochet. There we go, so these every stitch turns two stitches into one. And those are the main stitches that are needed. So I hope that helps, and I hope that was pretty simple. There are lots of extra things to add on, but it can be very tricky to find everything straight away. So I hope that was straightforward enough that it's an easy learning process. I just wanted to make this because I find it very hard to sit through long videos that draw out all the explanations when you just want to know everything that you need for the beginning. The absolute bare necessities of what you have to get and what you have to learn to just start doing it. If a pattern says that it's easy or a beginner pattern, then you most likely won't need to use any of the other stitches. And most of my patterns like these are all the things that you need and all the things that you have to learn, like nothing else. I have a different video showing you all of the tools that you can use that will be helpful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.